What's up guys, in the wake of Garrett's interview with Doug Polk the other day, my interest in this case was piqued once again. So I scoured the internet, spending hours doing research, trying to find something to make sense of it all. And I've found a hand eerily similar, played between Garrett and Robbie, with another potential Jack High call. Let's get in the action. I think it's extremely likely that I was cheated in that poker hand. You know, simple as that. And I think everything that came out uh, in the days and weeks thereafter, all the many sort of coincidences, uh, they've only sort of further solidified that belief. Then we'll like badass. Now badass. From a fish. 70 yes, It's a big raise here. Robbie's gonna call with Jack Eight of Diamonds in the middle blind. And Andy here gonna call with King Ten. So 9,500 here, three ways. With the blinds being 100, 200, 400 with a 400 big blind ante and an $800 straddle, Garrett makes it 3,000 from the natural big blind. Robbie goes for the call with Jack-8 suited, and Andy Stacks goes for the overcall with King-10. Garrett's raise is a little bit loose. Personally, I'd probably just limp in with Queen-4 suited. Uh, I don't really want to play out of position extremely, extremely deep, especially against like a guy like Andy, who's very good at deep stack poker. Just for reference, this is 20 minutes before the infamous Jack-4 hand. Let's see what happens. Nice. And how about trip queens here, it looks like? for Garrett, and Andy with the king. 3,000. So Garrett should be able to get some streets. Robbie's gonna call here, what, Jack E? She plays just like any other, like, uh, you know, poor playing recreational player. Very weak, very tight, very scared. I don't know what's going on here. Jack E, and Andy here with King 10, also gonna call. With 9,500 in the middle, Garrett decides to bet 3,000, and Robbie makes a very, very strange float. With a player behind and both Garrett acting first, Garrett should be doing a lot of checking in this spot. Uh, most of the time out of position, you do a lot of checking, but a small bet occasionally here and there is fine. Now with that said, his bet is very strong. Robbie has jack high, which as we know, well, she can win big pots with. However, with a player behind as well, this is simply just a fold, and I'm not really sure what's happening. Let's carry on. Four, and now Garrett fills up, and Robbie now picks up a backdoor diamond draw. A disaster for Robbie here. It's an absolute disaster. I start to think about when you have trip queens, you get two callers. What do these people have? And Garrett's going to bet 10,000 now. And she is going to call, drawing dead. And I think Andy can probably just get away from this one now. I mean, he is getting some pretty good turn pot odds of almost four to one. But Garrett has bet two times after Robbie and Andy called the flop. And yep, there's the correct fold once again. Nice fold. And boy, Robbie needs to dodge a diamond here. Well, the river is a nine. And... She has no idea. With a little over 18,000 in the middle, Garrett bets 10,000, and Robbie turning the backdoor flush draw with her jack high draw on the flop decides to call. And this is a little, little bit more reasonable. Obviously, you can hit a flush. However, sometimes you're already dead as somebody can have a hand like pocket kings or king queen. So it's not like the best call of all time. Uh, but I wouldn't expect an amateur player to really fold a flush draw here on the turn. With that said, action gets to Andy, who makes a fold with top pair. Realizing that Garrett betting into two players on the flop is very strong, and then betting into two players once again on the turn is also very strong. So good fold by Andy there. Let's see the river. How lucky that is for her.
Garrett trying to figure out what does she have? You wouldn't think she would just have air with backdoor diamonds. He probably thinks that she has a king. 55. Well, he's going to go 55. Put her in a box if she had a king or maybe. Pay attention to Robbie If here. she somehow had the case queen. But it's not going to matter. She looks like she's looking directly at Rip. If you remember the breakdown of where everyone was sitting, Rip was two to the right of Garrett. That's basically where Robbie would be looking at right now. But just look at her eye contact. Very strange. What you're saying is reasonable, man. Like, like I, I hear you, you know, and so. I think you have a missed draw. 10 seconds. What is she? She says she thinks she has a missed draw. She only has jack high. She doesn't beat ace high. I don't know what. You know, Poker Go gave her an award and she gave a speech for the hand, which is, the shit is surreal. I think we can say that. The shit yeah. is definitely surreal, you know? Before we see what Robbie does, what do you guys think about the whole Jack Force situation? Did Robbie cheat? Did she not cheat? Personally, I don't know. I'm split. I, I, I can see arguments for both sides. It's close. It's close. Gun to head, I'm not sure. Like, it's, it's, it's a coin flip for me. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Click the sub button while you're down there. It's free. Let's see what she does. She's really thinking about her. You can have this one. I'll get you again. Foreshadowing. 20 minutes later. She calls? For once, but it's up to you. Oh my god. And the river breaks out again. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. I need. I want to see. Does she have Jack Four? What? Look at Jack. Whoa, that's look at. Get, that is super, super strange. You can see his reaction. Garrett's face. That is. That's a fucking poker right there. That's sick. Wow. That was sick. Like what is what? <laughs> so you want to kill me, there? Wants to vomit. I'm speechless. I'm mean, speechless. Like, he seems somewhat disturbed here. I hope you guys like today's video. Much love. Baby, you give me I